All right, new severe thunderstorm warnings, including parts of Sequoia and LaFleur County as well. It is important to note that within that severe thunderstorm warning, it does include the tornado possible tag with it. What does that mean for you? Well, along that leading edge of those storms are some very violent winds out there. And every once in a while, we have to watch out for those kinks in the line that could lead to some rotation. That's what the National Weather Service out of Tulsa is highlighting to us, is that there are some areas of rotation. One, enough in the Stigler area that's prompted a tornado warning. This is not a confirmed tornado, but it has been extended. Now that warning polygon leads right up to the Sequoia County line. So again, Stigler technically just outside of our viewing area. No matter the less, the closer these storms get, that next warning, if we were to get one, if it holds its rotation, would be moving into parts of Sequoia, if not parts of Northern LaFleur as well. Let's show you the velocity with these storms. That's the main concern that we have with this line of thunderstorms right now, what's called a squall line, is those strong, strong winds out ahead of that line of thunderstorms. And when you talk about rotation, you can see it right now. That's why I have no surprise that the National Weather Service at a Tulsa extended that warning for the Stigler area because you can see that rotation right there, right where those colors are mixing together. You can see that notch in there. Again, that's why that tornado warning is right there. But you look ahead of that line of thunderstorms. It's not very clean. It's very strong winds in there. Wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, but they're moving very slow right now. These storms are only moving at about a rate of anywhere between 30 up to 35 miles per hour. So when we get these new warnings, they're not moving very far. They're almost over lapping each other just because this squall line isn't moving very fast. It's producing strong winds, but when it comes to the movement, it's not great. So let's track this out and give you a rough estimate of when those storms could be arriving into your neck of the woods. And this is going to be kind of a, a weird line here that we have to draw into parts of eastern Oklahoma but it's going to give you a rough estimate of some times of arrival for when those storms could be into your neighborhood. So here you go, Stigler uh, right now at 919. Uh, of course, if you're in the Stigler area where you got friends and family, uh, go ahead and seek shelter immediately. That tornado warning, that rotation tightest just outside towards the west, the southwest of the Stigler community. You go down the line here, Kyoto at 1236, 1236, Weber Falls at 1240, Gore at 1243, uh, and then you work to Salisaw just after 1, 104, Spyro at 109, Muldrow at 112, Brush Heat at 114, Pecola at 124. So again, those are for those straight line winds that are associated with these thunderstorms. When it comes to the rotation down the line, if it gets extended, it would include parts of Sequoia County, maybe even parts of Salisaw as well. That's something we're keeping a very close eye on uh, so far. Additionally, I want to show you just the rainfall, where we're at right now, how long we have left with these thunderstorms the rest of uh, this afternoon and going into the evening. Give you a wider look here as well. So far since early this morning, it's been pretty quiet. Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. These thunderstorms just starting to get going, mainly south of I-40 across the River Valley. And that pairs up with where our watch is as well. Again, that tornado watch goes out until 5 p.m. Uh, this evening. And that goes uh, for Sequoia, parts of LaFleur, into Sebastian, Logan, and Scott counties. Now, Northwest Arkansas currently has no watches right now. I wouldn't be surprised that if sometime today we at least get a, sev a severe thunderstorm watch added to that. We'll bring you those updates as soon as we have those. Here's a look at Futurecast. Again, uh, this line of thunderstorms going to continue to track in by the time we get to this afternoon. Along that leading edge is going to be those strong damaging winds where every once in a while we'll have to watch out for the potential of maybe a few kinks in the line leading to some of that rotation. Now behind that line where the strongest winds are is going to be some heavy rainfall. We're talking about an additional close to two inches of rainfall could be possible through this evening. With all the water that we picked up so far, that is going to lead to the potential of some flooding. Good news is a bulk of this system is out of here by the time, let's say 7, 8 p.m. Most of the heavy rainfall that is as well. And then we're just going to have those scattered showers left behind it. So scattered showers continue for your Thursday and Friday, uh, but nowhere near close to the severe limit that we have for today. Weather impact alert continues to our Thursday morning. Strong to severe storms that flooding as well. Make sure you have a way to get those warnings. If we do get them, more than likely we will. That risk for today is that level two slight risk for us. Northwest Arkansas over the next seven days looks like this. Again, weather impact alert for us today. Now, good news is once we get past this evening, kind of quiet for a couple of days, at least in the way of severe weather. Scattered showers would continue through our Friday, but then by the time we get to the weekend, Morgan, sunshine, and then we start to clear up by the time we get to early next week.